Hello, 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 and welcome to the show. It's Wrestling with Entertainment, bringing you the latest exclusive breaking news, previewing and reviewing the latest shows from WWE, AEW, New Japan, and everything in between. I am your host, James J, starring Coleco Yachts. Back from the graduation bender, yeah! Congratulations to all the graduates, huh? Mitch Mayhem. Hey, what's up, everybody? And Scooter Dust. Scooter Dust! We the best podcasters. I'm sorry, I thought I'd take the DJ Khaled approach to introducing myself. You played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another that shit annoys the fuck out of me, but okay. <laughs> it is not a great day for wrestling, as uh, I believe it was Thursday, um, no, Wednesday, uh, there was the passing of Shad Gaspar. Uh, people probably uh, That's how you're going to tee it up, really? Yeah. You're not going to explain what happened, dude? Oh, he was, I'm, we'll, we'll get into it. I'm going to get into it. Oh, uh, People probably know him best from his time in WWE, a, a part of Crime Time with JTG. Um, it's crime Time. He was when um, it, back when Vince McMahon's racism was just completely out there, hanging like a pair uh, of testicles. You ain't kidding. <laughs> Shot just Spall was uh, lost at <gasps> sea in a in a ta- uh, a strong current. Uh, on Sunday and went missing for several days until he was uh, finally uh, discovered um, on Thursday. Uh, a great uh, tragedy. Uh, me and Scooter have something. Go ahead, Scooter. Yeah, um, that That is not entirely all true. There's a lot to it, more that to it. He was actually found with his <laughs> son, and he insisted that... Please save the story, yeah. That he he insisted that they save his son. First. They found him, and his son was still out there, and he refused to be helped before his son was helped. And so, when they got his son, they came back. He was under the water by then. That's what happened. And here's the saddest part to that. I don't know if you guys knew knew this part. Did you know his family did not leave that fucking that fucking ocean area for like three or four fucking days? Yeah. That's so sad. They didn't want to leave their, the dad, dude. Yeah, That's it got so crazy sad. because I was hearing that uh, after they gave up, Chris Masters was like, I will get a group of guys and we'll go look for them. Like, yeah, they found him like it, a it, it, 24 hours it got, later. It got like to the point where people were really, really wanting to help. So, yeah. and, and you know it's crazy when like CNN picks up this shit. So when yeah. CNN... Yeah. And, and and usually they pick up stories that's usually like, you know. That make Christmas. wrestling look bad. That make yeah. wrestling look bad. So yeah. for them to pick it, pick this one up and actually, you know, recognize the guy as a hero says a lot about them. Yes, I agree. Uh, real quick, I met him one only one time, just one time, way back in that day, uh, in like 2006. Uh, he was... Fucking General Giant, really nice guy from what I, the little bit that I met him in. So it's just, a, it, it's, it, it's a heartbreaking situation. Um, an- another note is that he sent a very cryptic text to JTG about, yo, know, by, he said, it was something along the lines of, yo, it, it, if I were to die tomorrow, I just want you to know that I love you, bro. Oh man, and kind of like the warrior, how he he, he knew he was gonna die the next day somehow. I think I thought I know he did that when Kobe died because they said it was like the day Kobe died, he did that. So I don't know if it was beforehand or after. So not trying to shit on your story, but uh, yeah, I'm not I, I'm not I'm not sure when that text was sent, but it came to life. But it did come, yeah. Yeah. Um, some weird news this week. Drew Gulak, uh, released from WWE. Wrong. Wrong. His yeah. contract, his contract, ex- his contract expired, and he, he was working on a DLL, and he wanted, he wanted extra money, 
like everyone else was getting, and they refused. They basically said, we're not doing that anymore, and then they took his original deal off the table. Um, this is a big loss for WWE currently, considering that he was in a major rivalry with, or starting a rivalry with Daniel Bryan. They could have made him the next Daniel Bryan. They could oh, absolutely. Him. He wasn't starting a rivalry. He, he was had, in it. He yeah. had... He had just lost the first round of the Intercontinental yeah. Tournament to Daniel Bryan. Yeah. And then literally, yeah. at literally the next day, day he was gone, he yeah. Was, he was released. But the, I, this supposedly had been going on for a few months where he was trying to resign, and they didn't want to give him the money that it, like everyone else had gotten before the big releases. All the releases, so. Yeah, yeah. but I, I think that was just the wrong time to play that hand. <laughs> This was disappointing. I mean, no, okay, not, I would have, not, not I would have met, not, I would have met in the middle. Like, you, you need a little bit of a boost because you're doing better than you were. Yeah, but because of these times, let's be cool. Let's be rational here and not right, try to right. go overboard. Yeah, but right. uh, everyone's different, you know. And Coleco, why did Drew Mac, uh, Drew Gulak get, um, get a release? Mm. Money! No. For the last time, we will tell you with our PowerPoint <laughs> presentation. Yeah, we, we don't know that it's the last time. Bullshit. That's the last time. <laughs> well, maybe for WWE. I'm just saying we don't know that it's the last PowerPoint presentation. Um, I'm a bit. I'm a miss that one. I'm oh, gonna miss it. I'll do a PowerPoint presentation right now. Well, no, NBD. It's not funny I will too. Know. Why LeBron better than Jordan? Uh, also coming up this week, uh, Leo Russ might be in some legal trouble with Mark Henry. It seems like Leo Russ can't stay out of trouble, even when he's not in, in WWE. No. Mm-hmm. He is the man of the hour. Honestly, I. It's kind of hard for me to say it's all him. Cause when you when you, cause he does a lot of Instagram, uh, like he's usually on Instagram a lot, and he does a lot of lives, and he'll talk with people. So, in the way that he comes off, I mean, yeah, you could say he may have done some boneheaded stuff here and there, but who hasn't? And but the way that he talks to the the fans, he just seems so genuine. I, I mean, uh, just real. Uh, now I'm not. Uh, gonna sit- that's not for me to say that he's like that, you know, and he it's a facade or anything. But from what I see, that's just all. It, it's funny you say that because Mark Henry's the exact fucking opposite. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, no, yeah, what, like, no wonder, opposite. no way wonder, opposite. no wonder he was a fucking dick, like, around, just a, like he wasn't mean. He just came off as a dick to me. No wonder. He's a, basically a fucking mob boss. Did you hear about that? He's got a black mob. No. I mean, he's from Texas. What you? Uh, Wait, you didn't hear about that? Mark no. Henry's got a black mob. Yeah. You didn't hear about that? Oh my god. <laughs> he, okay. But Mark- all, yes, yes. Hear me out. Let me explain it. Okay. He said when Le- the first time Leo Rush like pissed him off, he said, "I got a bunch of uh, elite black superstars that'll do anything I say on the snap. I got a black mob, bitch." He was like, he was like getting into it. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, he, was serious. he was dead serious. Dead yeah, he went James Gandolfini. Uh, he was, yeah, he was doing some cold shit. It wasn't like that. It was like some cold shit. Like motherfucker, I, I got people. Yeah. Did he really? Think oh, that? real quick. He said. He said. My, my guy said. Hey, you want us to go visit him? And I said no. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> I mean, Mark. Mark Henry is the. I. I the, the, when I met him, uh, recommended the twenty nine weekend. He was the nicest, gentle Nothing. guy. Mark Henry? Yeah. I mean, he was nice to me, but he just had a dis. Okay, I'll explain it. He he, he had his kid him. come. It just uh, let me explain this. He had his kid come up with him right after Finn Balor and Kevin Owens were just on the stage. That's what everyone was in line for. And then when they leave, Mark Henry comes up with his little fucking son playing a Game Boy, and he's just cold as can be. Doesn't want to be there. It's just it was just that kind of feeling. He was uh, a replacement. Yeah. What? So, uh, so shit, I got a fun story while we're at it. Uh, <laughs> why not? So basically, Leo Rush is the Kevin Hart of the WWE. <laughs> well, 
People actually like Kevin Hart. I mean, uh, yeah. they did not back back in 2010. He was just the loud rat of comedy. <laughs> I mean, uh, I wouldn't say Kevin. I mean, what, when he threw away the Oscar, maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe more like Bobby Lee. You had a story, Kaliko. He's yes. ratty and gets yes. on people's nerves. <laughs> Here, here's my Mike Henry story. WrestleMania 34 weekend at the busted open. Uh, 34. Yeah, 34 in New Orleans. So 34, okay. we're at busted open uh, radio. And everybody is doing like, you know, drinking, meet and greet, whatever. So I, me and my brother, we're sitting there waiting to meet Mark Henry. So we go up, you know. My brother goes there, right? So I go to tap him on the shoulder to let him know, hey, I'm behind you. So, you know, there ain't nothing shit popping off. The moment I tapped him on the shoulder, he turns around and slaps me in my chest so, like, not hard, but, but like, to the point where it was like, bitch, we going to fight. So, <laughs> so rather than me start shit, I just started screaming at his face, and I have the picture of me. Mark Henry? dead. Yes, I have the picture of me. He hit you. Mark Henry hit you, and you stood. <laughs> and I stood toe to yeah, I stood toe to toe with him. I wasn't gonna start no shit like that. So me and him, I stood toe to toe with him, and he it just looked at me, and he saw me, and I saw him, and you see my picture, and I'll post this shit on Twitter. In my face, I'm looking dead at him, me mad as shit. We we both look like we about to rumble in that hoe. But <laughs> he would have fucking yeah. killed you. <laughs> I, I, I would bet a hundred He's a mob bucks boss, dude. That, that, I would bet a hundred bucks that the person in front of Mark Henry was telling him somebody was coming up behind you. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but probably. but this wasn't like WWE. This was busted open radio. So Sirius XM and all of them. So God knows they might do something totally different from how WWE does it. So God knows. We don't know. And ever since then, my wife is pissed. My wife is looking for him more than I am. So yeah. <laughs> so what? So what happened afterwards? We took the picture and called it a day. <laughs> okay. See, I don't think people would believe me when I say who I the coolest person with me has been. But anyway, go on. Me. Just for every no, the coolest wrestler like that they meet. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That was a bar. No one would be able. No one would be able to figure we that out. We do need to yeah. do that one day. We need to do like story times. Uh, yeah, why not? The best wrestlers or the worst wrestlers we've ever been. And it's, I feel it's, like... it's, it's personal experiences, you know. So. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. That would be yeah. cool. We could do a watch along of uh, of my clips on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I got two clips on YouTube and both of me get married to my wife. <laughs> me too. Wait, you married Kaliko's wife? <laughs> Uh, all right, so the... That got real quiet. <laughs> uh, the original revival, that's wild, uh, uh, Scott Dawson, uh, and Legal Trouble once again. Not only... Aha! Uh -huh. What did I say last week? I spoke of this last week before you guys even knew of it, but go ahead. Not even with the, uh, Revolt, but now with WWE, um, they oh, had... And Revolt. Pictures, uh, they had made t shirts with those comedy gimmicks that WWE wanted to use them for, uh, on uh, as a t shirt print, and WWE gave them a cease and desist to not use those. Oh, they they used that logo that was floating around the internet, they are that picture of them and the clown unis, yes. So, oh, so they did, are you saying they used that as merch or something, or what? Yeah, as a t shirt. Oh, okay. Pro wrestling that's kind of tees, funny. baby. That's funny. That's kind of funny. Because, yeah. yeah. I, also what it hear, is. I also hear they were being sued for breathing. <laughs> yeah. So it's my air. It's my air, damn it. It was expensive nowadays. Hey, pal. That's my alarm clock. <laughs> yeah, for someone who's got a fucking dinosaur skull in his office. It was a gift! <laughs> hey, that, he didn't that, even pay for it, yeah. Hey, that's cool as shit, and nobody could tell me otherwise. I'm just saying, like, our gifts and his gifts are completely different things. We get, like, fucking a when, new shirt, we're like, oh, thanks, he gets a new fucking when, continent. Wait, with your son-in-law, <laughs> give, 
gives his father-in-law his own father's skull. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, watch Vince say, put my skull up on your wall, pal, when I'm dead. Because that T-Rex gave birth to Triple A, so. Oh, yikes. Damn, he must be older than... I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> the game. I'm going to leave that one alone. Short arms, long nose that can smell a lot. Oh, oh. Man. Wait, is he Jewish? <laughs> he's, I think he's German, doesn't he? No, Levesque is French. Yeah. French, okay, French. I yeah. knew it was uh, European. So he should have been Jean Lier Lafitte. He was. Oh, oh. oh, oh no, no, he would have been Jean Pierre Lanose. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, that's that's such, a, such a dad joke! Jean Pierre Lachnaz. <laughs> Damn, you are on fire tonight, Scooter. Oh, you oh. Your dad jokes get cornier and cornier by the day. Oh, that's what happens when you're a dad. I guess so. Fuck. Pretty much. We're in our prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't want to be shackled right now in my prime. <laughs> We're in our Amazon Prime. Right? Yeah, Amazon Prime dad jokes. <laughs> Better we need a subscription. Why, why be locked up in your Prime? Fuck. All right. It They'll is time to start our <laughs> preview.